afternoon, Scorpio. This is going to be um, your weekly reading. Um, I was supposed to really have gotten started a little bit earlier on this, um, but I've been kind of going through things that, you know, where my energy wasn't real balanced as far as me being able to do a reading. I am a Scorpio, and I know that a lot of times we tend to want to chase things and chase people and I've really had to check my energy, you know, just like over like the past three, four months. Anytime I start kind of getting kind of wonky and wanting to kind of chase anything outside of myself, I have to pull my own energy back. And um, I was kind of falling back into that energy again. And, and I knew that if I had done this reading, that it would have been a way of kind of pushing out and kind of chasing um, right now. And so I wanted to make sure I was in a balanced state before I pulled the cards. <laughs> because, um, yes, tarot readings can be a way of chasing somebody. It's an energetic way. Um, so do make sure that you do take what resonates and... Um, don't use it as a way of trying to figure out what your significant other is doing or whatever. That's why I try not to do those kind of readings because they actually ca cause more harm than good. You know, it's like the energetic equivalent of driving by somebody's house or like stalking them on social media. <laughs> so I try not to do those kind of readings. I try to do the kind of readings where I can let you know what you need to work on because the focus always needs to be you. So anytime you feel yourself really kind of seeking something or somebody outside of yourself, maybe kind of obsessing and, you know, kind of getting into that addictive fear-based energy where you're obsessing about someone else, um, really pull it back and focus on yourself because that is the key to all of this. You know, have you ever just really wanted something, wanted something, and chased it, and chased it, and chased it, finally you're like, fuck it, I don't even care anymore, then it comes to you? It's that kind of energy, because it is very repelling when um, you chase something outside of yourself. And I have to check myself daily. <laughs> so with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get on with the reading. Um, this energy, These energies have been a little bit tough lately, and like I said, it's been kicking up hornet's nest with me as well, so... Um, I did want to go ahead and get started, and this one here is, need my glasses on, is the Two of Coins. And basically, this is about being unbalanced. And this is about um, really being thrown off your center. And it can be something showing up in your physical reality, or someone returning, or running into someone you haven't seen for a while, or seeing something that kind of sparks your attention and then it kind of gets you in that energy of like an old energy um that's kind of what happened to me <laughs> where i saw something on social media and i had to pull it back because i started to run with it and i said no i'm gonna stay centered i'm gonna stay grounded and um because i've been working real hard on balancing my energy and not really pushing out and trying to control things, but really being in a place of deep faith and knowing that whatever is for me is coming to me and that I don't have to obsess or stress about it. Um, there's nothing that I need to do. I don't need to be controlling it. I don't. A lot of times we get in this energy of, I just want to know. That way I'm not blindsided. That way I know where, I, where I'm at. But when we do that, we are preparing for what we manifest. And the stories that we're telling ourselves are true. Because whatever it is that we believe to be true is true. So let's say, you know, and have you ever heard the expression that if you go looking for trouble, you're going to find it? Um, let's say, for example, you go snooping in your boyfriend or girlfriend's messages. You're going to always find something because your own imagination is going to make it into whatever um, whatever you want it to be. So that's the reason why um, you always want to come from that place of a clean slate. Um, that, uh, you know, that clean canvas that you can create whatever type of reality that you want. Or the universe can do it for you as long as you stay in that surrendered state. 
and you're not um, trying to control things yourself by needing to know everything because we don't always need to know everything. We just have to have faith that everything is working out exactly like it's supposed to. And this involves um, a certain degree of falling back. And I know as a Scorpio, it's very hard to do that because I know I'm one of these. I'm going to go get it. If I want it, I'm going to go get it. But a lot of times we block ourselves doing that. So definitely fall back right now because clarify that card. We have the I am a spirit having a human experience and I'm getting closer to love. But in order to be closer to love, you have to trust. And I know that's really hard, especially if you've been hurt before or especially if you have, if you have 99 reasons not to trust, find that one reason because you're creating your own reality right now. And you know who you love and you know who your soul is drawing you to. But understand if that person is for you, you're going to have them. It's just a matter of divine timing, so definitely pull it back. <clears throat> um, we have the Five of Swords, and this is the After a Battle card. This is um, after the dust settles. You know, that the energy I'm getting from this card is, man, I wish I would have said this, or why didn't I say that, or why didn't I jab them with this, or jab them with that. Um... This is that type of energy where you walk, maybe you walked away from a situation because you wanted to save your energy. And um, so you feel like, and if you aren't in this energy, the message coming through is that you need to walk away and save your energy. Not everything is a battle. Not everything do you have to go hard for. Sometimes just walking away and not putting that energy into a situation is what needs to happen. And a lot of times we'll sit back and kick ourselves because we feel like we let somebody get over on us. And I'll know I'll sit and obsess about that. Like, man, I feel like I look stupid now. You know, I feel like I look weak. But it actually takes great strength to walk away, to take the high road, um, to be the bigger person. And because when we do that, when we do that, we leave the other person enchanted, beguiled, and spelled. I mean, they can't believe it, especially if this is someone who's been pushing our buttons for a while. Maybe this is someone we've known for a while, and we didn't let them get to us this time. You know, we took the high road, and we were like, you know what? I I'm not even going to feed into this. It is what it is. You believe what you want. I don't always have to be right. I'm going to walk away. And like I said, if you haven't had this happen yet, this is the message that's coming through. This is the energy you need to be in because it just wows a person. And they're just like, wow, I cannot believe how much they have matured. They have matured so much. And I know one thing. I know I'm not going to get a fight every time I go looking for one. I need to go somewhere else because I'm not going to get it from them because they really have changed. And they're saving their energy for them. And they're realizing that part of maturing is not always needing to be right. You don't always have to be. And, and if this is your intimate partner, do you want to be in an intimate relationship or do you want to be right? Sometimes you just have to let it go and you have to forgive. We have the Two of Swords. And the message that I'm getting with this is that this is a mental energy and it goes along with that being unbalanced and having different battles being thrown at you but these are tests sometimes our soul tests us um, to test everything that we've learned so far you know you can call it your soul the universe you know we're all one so it's one and the same your soul is part of the universe um, so you can say soul or universe and the universe tests us. If you've ever read The Alchemist, um, he says that this, the alchemist says that um, the universe will test you for all of the lessons that you've learned um, to see if you are ready for what it is for your heart's desire. Are you ready for it? Um, and so a lot of times 
It's a matter of just getting out of our own way. And these tests are thrown at us and it just depends on how you handle it. Let's say for example, um, you're dealing with a bad breakup. And this person you felt like was just the absolute love of your life and they walked away or they left you for somebody else. And you are just miserable. You're questioning yourself. You're like, how can they do that? That person that they're with isn't nearly as good as what I am. I know what I've got to offer, so what's going on? But if you really flip it around and look at the fact that if the two of you had proceeded on the path that you were on, um, if you really go back and look at it, you probably have had stagnated. And you really couldn't go any further. It was like a glass ceiling. And the reason why is because the soul wants to always grow and expand. And sometimes we have to go out and we have to be with other people for a while in order to learn other things, in order to prepare. And then, you know, a year from now or whenever, or, you know, six months down the road, you run into each other at the grocery store and, you know, they're not with that person anymore and you have grown and you have changed and they can see it and you can see that they have. And then you start talking again and it's perfect. And the reason why it's perfect is because you had to grow. And so if you look at it like that from that point of view, you will release that victim mentality and you'll realize it was nothing personal, but the universe had it covered all along. And it's all about changing your perspective. I know it's very painful at the time, but you know what? Whatever you're feeling, honor that and work on that. Because people are our perfect mirror. And they let you know where your energy is at. They let you know what you need to work on. They show you some people who we have very deep spiritual, soulful connections with show us our deepest fears. And it's all about facing those fears and becoming stronger and really becoming empowered. And maybe you couldn't have done that together. Because if you were together, you would not have worked through those things. And if you really look back, it wasn't all as good as what you thought it was before. There were problems before it even got to that point. Um, to clarify that card, we have the moon card. And once again, this is about things going on behind the scenes. This is that shadow side. This is the other side of the sun, basically. You know, you've got the light and then you've got the shadow. Well, everything that's in the light right now is what you're aware of. But you have things in your shadow side that have been playing in your subconscious the whole time. And these are your deepest fears. And until you really face those fears, your fear will be your greatest teacher. It will teach you over and over and over again. That shit will just keep coming up. Over and over and over again. Until you finally face it. And it's painful and it's hard, but you have to really face all of the feelings that come up. You know, a lot of times we get into the survival mode when something traumatic happens. I just want to get through it the best way I can. You know, I'm going to use substances. I'm going to overeat. Um, I'm going to go in shopping like crazy. I'm going to go buy myself a whole new wardrobe. I'm going to fix myself up. Nobody's going to be able to tell me shit. And then when they see me on social media and I'm living my best life, they can eat their heart out. Fuck them. You know, we've all been in that energy. And, but when we're doing that, we're not facing how the feelings of what really happened and what came up. We're still just putting on masks and we're running from it. So you really got to go deep and deal with whatever has came up. However you're feeling, honor that and accept that's how you're feeling. A lot of times we chase others to keep from facing ourselves. I don't usually do reverse cards, but this is a brand new deck. Just opened it and this card came out just like this, reverse from the rest of them. 
So I said, let me do this reverse card because normally I don't. It is Roman numeral wise. Let's see, what is that? Five, six, seven, eight. Eight, I don't know my Roman numerals. Eight of swords in reverse. So I did consult the book and I love this new deck of tarot cards, by the way. And the message that came up with this card in reverse was victim mentality, which I was talking about over here. Be responsible for your own energy because whatever has shown up in your reality has been to teach you. And so do face whatever comes up because you align to it. Because like I said, you've got these fears playing in the background in, the su in your subconscious that are going to keep showing up over and over and over again. So stop blaming others and, you know, forgive. That is the biggest thing. We forgive to set ourselves free, not for someone else. Because as long as you are not in a forgiving state of mind, um, those people still have power over you. Take back your power by forgiving them. Um, to clarify that card, we have storm warning. I really feel like these are these tests that have been coming up because I have been tested over and over and over again. And, you know, I understand how energy works. I understand um, that we align to different situations. I understand that the physical experiences are the illusions because we create them in our minds. Um, but still, it's still really hard because I get carried away with them too. You know, so a lot of times I just kept telling myself, it's not real, it's not real, it's not real. Well, you know what? Bump that because um, that's still a way of not facing it. So now what I do when something comes up and somebody reflects something back to me, I look at it and I say, all right, what is this telling me about my energy? Okay, this person has flat out rejected me for whatever reason. Or um, this person has taken advantage of me. What does this tell me? Well, for one thing, I aligned to that because I expected that to happen. Because I expect people to not treat me well because I'm in victim mentality. And when you expect people not to treat you well, guess what's going to happen? You're going to keep attracting that over and over again. So, Definitely make sure that you check your energy daily and know what you're focused on because whatever you're focused on, you will grow and you will manifest whatever you're preparing for, basically. And we have this King of Wands. And the King of Wands is all about activity and um, all about... He's like, he's like a, the king of wands is typically like a politician or somebody who, um, I'm trying to think of the word for it, somebody who is very giving and who cares for his people, for his community. Um, he really ha shifts the focus from himself onto other people. Um, he's a very charitable king. And basically what I'm getting with this is that this is the energy that we really, we get in where we're really focused on others. We're so concerned about what other people think about us. And anytime that we do something or don't do something is from a place of, I hope people are watching me <laughs> because that gives me self-worth because how people view me gives my life meaning when really only we can do that because what happens if you know if one day you know just everybody just let's say you're involved in some kind of scandal <laughs> and everybody just you know everybody thinks badly of you now you know and um, you know, suppose, you know, you were involved in an affair or you got fired from your job or something happened. And now people, if you live in a small town like I do, everybody knows and everybody's looking down on you. And then all of a sudden you're like, damn, all of a sudden my life has no meaning anymore. 
that's the reason why you have to have a solid foundation and you have to come from a pure place and you have to be fearless and really not give a fuck what people think about you because self-confidence comes from really being able to live with your fears. You'll never completely clear them, but do starve them out. Don't, don't feed them because they will grow and that, believe me, they will show back up over and over again. Because to clarify that in this video, it's going to be a little longer. I've noticed my videos are getting longer. <laughs> it's because like so many more messages are coming through. I got these postcards from Spirit. So I thought it'd be really cool to um, use one as a clarifier. So I, excuse me if I'm going to have to read and I'm half blind. Hold on. Dearest you, since you're on earth, you understand how buildings are built. Yes. A good solid foundation and yet flexibility too in case of earthquakes. Truth be told, you can't offer something sustainable unless it is built from a solid base. Whether it be an idea that takes form one step at a time or an actual house that needs a sturdy foundation dug, poured and built. We want to remind you of this because you might need a little encouragement to see this is true in your life at this time. Celebrate the fact that that right now you can repair the cracks in the foundation of your life effortlessly as well as do a general site check to assure your hard work is being well supported. Do this and know you're building your life on a perfect and sound foundation that will allow you to welcome the many miracles waiting to come to visit. We're so happy for you and so intrigued by what you're building. Wow. And I really, when I was talking about building on a good foundation, <laughs> I did not even know that they were going to talk about this. But do make sure that you're building on a solid foundation and not something anybody can take from you. That is how you become empowered. We have the Ace of Cups. And the message that came through with this is to do my... This is a new opportunity for love. This could be that person returning. Um, this could be somebody new, somebody better, because you cannot lose what is yours by divine right because it will be restored to you or replaced with something better. So, but you have to be in a place of forgiveness. You have to clear that and you have to realize that everything that's happened has happened for a reason. So do let go and stop fighting. Stop fighting and just stop resisting what's happening and just really surrender to it all. That is the key. To clarify that card, we have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And the message that I got with this is stop dwelling on the past. Let it go. Stop worrying about the future. And really be present right now in the here and now. That is where your power is at. Because you're creating all the time. And when you are so focused and worried about the future, guess what? You're creating it as you go through anxiety because we have the concern card. And as you go and whenever you're in your head thinking about things, you are creating situations and scenarios. So stop it. Have that clean slate that the universe can work with and surrender to it all. The highest honor. This is the highest honor is you. Honor yourself. Give to yourself what you want others to give to you. You want respect or fame or love or whatever. Start giving that to yourself first. That's where it starts. And nobody can ever take that from you. Nobody. And that is such a beautiful feeling. And that is the gift that you can give yourself and that the universe wants to give you is the gift of feeling good, feeling better, and releasing all of this and just handing it over to the universe and say, you know what, fight my battles for me. I have faith and I believe that everything is being divinely guided and everything is leading me exactly where I need to be at. Well, Scorpio, this is your weekly reading. And if you would like a personal reading to let you know what your blocks are as far as in, in the areas of abundance, love, and money, um, I'll put my email in the description of the video. Thank you.